Technology is so amazing. I can't wait for you to hear what Seaspire has been doing during this pandemic. Let's give them a call. We were really inspired to think about what kind of innovations and opportunities mm -hmm. sometimes that um, crises like this bring. They can be an impetus to change. And so I think one thing first is just tell us how you had to innovate lately in this pandemic. It's it's been it's been uh, it's been been different. I would say you know since mid March, technological needs are at an all time high um, because this is a time when you have to have it. We had to really really think differently and innovate you know in that space to bring even more you know of those services to our customers in the need of this outbreak. You know I will say that you know one of the you know, innovative things and doing more of is really enhancing on our digital experiences. And the needs are tremendous for mm -hmm. access for children to be able to virtually be able to do school or That's even, right. even those who are um, attending school or have already mm -hmm. gone back to school um, with social distancing, you know, a lot of their work is still be online and they'll still have to have virtual resources. So we're seeing, we're seeing a lot of that. That's um, right. And Speaking of that, children love technology and coding, and uh, we've been so grateful here to be beneficiaries of your expertise and, mm -hmm. and your expertise and volunteerism in hosting our coding challenge. What have you seen that has been really effective um, in the coding challenges that you've done for high school and elementary to help build those skills? Yeah, and what, one thing I was to say there, you know, is when you talk about technology, you talk about the need, you know, those skills, I, I will say it, it is the way of today and in the future. You know, technology and having those computer science, those, those coding skills. And that's through our challenges, you know, for our high school and elementary school students. That is what we've been trying to instill, right? You know, in, in raising, you know, that awareness of what those skills you know can bring and what they enable, and and they lead to innovation. They lead to you know that creativity you know that we talk about, and that's what we've been trying to say in words. But I think with the pandemic, I think it came to light. I think it lets us know that it is today. If you could invent anything for this pandemic time of history that we're living through right now, if you could invent anything. Uh, what would it be um, in your work? What, what do you see as something that may be fantastical, but that you would love to see invented? Uh, professionally, you know, I would say the thing that's that magic button, right? That allows us just to meet whatever need of a particular consumer, customer, who, no matter who it is, right? You right. know, that's a part, you know, of who we are is continuing, you know, the challenge of, of being innovative and being creative and being getting out ahead of, of the need. Because we all know, you know, with no innovation and no, you know, creativity, uh, you really become irrelevant. So you really want to be that one that's out in the forefront. I'm curious too, just for children and families who might watch, who might watch this, but is there anything when you were young you were really in inspired by or invented? I, you know, I was always interested, you know, in the, in the science sciences and I loved lab, you know, but I, I was always one of those that would do a little something different. To me, that was, you know, my tap into innovation or to creativity uh -huh. is to do a little something different. That's what we love here is for children to explore and to have that right. freedom to explore, to play, because that's where real learning takes that's place. That's correct. That is correct. Well, uh, thank you, Carla. Um, we are really, really grateful for all the ways that you serve children and serve our community and for your business leadership, mm -hmm. um, for your team. You, they've just been tremendous during this while we've all been using lots of data. Absolutely. <laughs>